hello guys you are welcome back to my channel my name is ruby and you here thanks for joining me today i'll be showing you how to make a bow making a bow is quite simple well there's no hard or fast rule on the measurement to use while making a bow it depends on how big or small you want your bow to be so I'm going to cut this part of the fabric off. For the width, I marked 7 inches and for the height, I marked 4 inches. Actually mark more if you want a bigger bow or less if you want a smaller bow. So I made a mistake while I was cutting this fabric. I didn't give room for a seam allowance. So if you are going to be using exactly this measurement that I used here, I advise you make room for a seam allowance. That is if you want a sizable bow. I'm going to cut another fabric for the center of the bow. Here I marked two inches. I'll cut and fix my cloth gum. The essence of the cloth gum is to make the fabric thicker. So the cloth gum has been fixed. I'm going to place the right side of this fabric against the right side of the second fabric and I'll go over to the machine and run some stitches. For this other fabric, I'm going to fold it into two and run some stitches on it too. Our bow is getting ready. I left off a space where I can bring out the right side of the fabric from. And then for the smaller fabric, I also left a space where I can bring out the right side from. So I'm going to try and make a space in the middle of this fabric. And from that hole that I created, I'm going to try and turn the fabric from the inside out. So you're going to keep doing this until you're sure that everything is out and then for the edges it is a little bit tricky but you're going to use a needle or a pin to make sure the edges are out so i'm going to leave this one and go over to the other fabric and with my spoolie i'm going to try and turn it inside out you can use whatever you like you can use a broom or any strong object, but I decided to use this one. So I'm going to make a space in between and try as much as possible to force the pulley inside that. Then as I'm doing that, you try to push the pulley up while you push the fabric backwards. Now the fabric is finally out and this is what we have. So the next thing I'm going to do is to try and fold this other side of the fabric inwards. I'm going to fold it in such a way that everything will be on the same level. So try and make sure that yours is on the same level. And I'm going to take my needle and my thread and start stitching. This is a temporal stitch I'm going to go off. I'm going to continue stitching, but I'll do that off camera. So this is what we have. This has already already been ironed. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take off this loose threads. Once that is done, I'm going to take a needle and a thread. The thread should be the same color with the fabric. I'm going to start making some stitches. This time around, I'm going to make an invincible stitch to cover up the hole we created earlier on. So I'm going to keep stitching until I get to the end of this line, but I'm going to do that off camera. Ah, like one step closer to having our bow ready. Yay. So what I'm going to do is to start folding. Just fold, fold the fabric, honey. And then this is what we have. 
oh this is pretty this is already nice next thing i'm going to do is to take my needle and my thread to hold the center together wow this is nice this is pretty so i'm going to take the other fabric and wrap around this okay this one is a little bit longer than what i need so i had to cut off that other part so that it will be shorter so i'm wrapping it up and i will use my needle and hold this together and our bow is ready so this is the final look this is our bow our bow is ready i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe please subscribe <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye